Hey there, this is Lucius Laframboise from ENG Suite. I am one of our software sales and development engineers here at QE Suite, and I'm going to be going over some of the um, functions in this series, really giving you an overview of how to use them. We're assuming you already know when to use them and what they're telling you. So in this, we're just telling you how to use them and how to get a little more out of them. So if you need more background as to how our documentation is laid out and how to navigate it and a little bit more background on QE Suite and how it works, head over to the capability analysis video. That's a really robust and um, common function that really allows us to explore it a little more. But in this, we're just going to look at each individual capability index function and we're just going to zip right through them. All right, to start off, we're going to do CP. Here we're going to do we're just going to label it and we're going to say equals qe.cp. We're going to come over to our data where we store it and we're going to shift, control shift down, select all the data. I'm going to scroll back up and we are going to select our specification and hit enter. And there's our CP. Let's just double check. Awesome. There it is. Cool. Let's move down to CPK. So we're going to label it. We're going to do equals qe.cpk. And we're going to just do the same thing. Awesome. All right. I wonder if you can guess what's next. That's right, PP. All right. So now we're doing our PP index, PP equals QE dot PP. Data, select the data. Now we're going to go get our specification, enter. PPK, bet you didn't see that one coming. Again, data specification, these are all the same function, just a little bit different. QE.PPK, data, select it, go up here, do specification, and there we go. That's all four capability indices. So that's it. They're pretty simple, but they're pretty simple uh, little analyses that you can do. So if you want to do them all together and if you want to generate this graph, make sure you check out the capability analysis function. It's a little more in-depth, does a little more. But these were the individual index indices. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and please do something awesome.